a life-saving drug could also cause a life-altering disease. That's the findings from research from Intermountain Medical Center who studied more than 10,000 patients. Doctors say there's a link between blood thinners like warfarin and dementia. Every day, thousands of Utahns take a daily regimen of medications for heart health, especially those with atrial fibrillation or an irregular heartbeat. This is a healthy heart, now atrial fibrillation. So instead of being uniform in the upper chambers, they're chaotic and irregular. To control it, doctors most commonly prescribe warfarin. These three Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute patients tell of their troubles using the medication. Coumadin is awful. You bleed a lot, you bruise a lot. That's what it is, rat poison, Coumadin. The Coumadin was doing terrible things to my insides, and so they took me off of it right at that point. And a recent Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute study finds long-term, loosely monitored warfarin use can affect the brain and cause dementia and Alzheimer's disease. The levels can become erratic. They can be at times too high, which raises risk of bleeding internally in the head, in our stomach, and in, in our in, in, through the kidneys. And if they swing too low, then there's a risk of clot formation and stroke. And with irregular heartbeats being diagnosed in earlier stages of people's lives, the long-term use of warfarin is more likely. We found that in people that are on warfarin, that's very well controlled, meaning they rarely have to change their dose, or if they change their dose, it's often in the, the range that's recommended. Rates of dementia are very low. But in those where it's often erratic and they can't control it, then other therapies may be better. That's why alternate forms of therapy are now being developed, like this Watchman device. It's implanted in patients to prevent blood clots, just like warfarin is supposed to do. I feel so much better. It's so nice not to have those terrible, terrible AFib attacks. Dr. Bunch says despite the findings, warfarin is still the first choice for, com for combating atrial fibrillation. The study proves that it must be monitored closely.